obviously we don't want any more injuries, but at the same time, um, we, we're willing to sacrifice our bodies to, to win the game. Um, we realize it's an important three points, and you know we want to come out with a win. How do you guys balance that being aggressive versus being careful? Um, I mean, see, I think we kind of just push it to the back of our minds. Um, part of the reason a lot of the guys are here and made the team is because they are willing to get hurt to to, to help us win. Um, I know that a lot of the guys who who are hurt or who are nursing injuries um, don't regret the way they played to, to kind of receive those injuries because they want to win just as bad as everyone else. Is there a different challenge with a tournament like this where the games are just so packed together in terms of your health? Definitely. I mean, uh, there's a big emphasis on recovery and uh, prehab and rehab um, before and after practices. You really have to kind of take care of your body and, and get to, I mean, just do the, the, the little things to, to make sure you're healthy come game time. Double IHF is really hard on head hits and certainly headed down uh, some major suspensions. Are you maybe surprised to see more of that in the tournament this year than, than we've seen in years past? Uh, I think it was kind of to be expected. I mean, a lot of the guys on our team are college players, and there's been a big emphasis on that in college hockey, uh, kind of the trickle-down effect, I guess, from the NHL and, and all the repercussions they had with the hit on Savard and everything last year. So I guess, um, I mean, it's it's almost uh, refreshing to see because it's, it's, it's a scary thing to get a concussion. Um, no one likes to get, in, get in a hit to the head or seeing a guy on the other team take a hit to the head. So, I mean, it's, it's uh, like I said, refreshing.